All right, folks, welcome to the channel. It's always an honor and a privilege to be with you. I hope you're all doing great. So yeah, buckle up, strap in. We got another barn burner, another heavy hitter. I'm not gonna pull any punches, no sugar coating it. I'm just gonna give it to you and give it to you straight. And folks, we have a massive issue right going on right now. You know what? Congratulations to everybody who's tuned in to this channel. My goodness. I mean, I knew from the beginning when this real estate market exploded, there was no way. There was no way that this could this could sustain itself because it was artificially produced through stimulus and stimulus measures, and it went way, way too long. So uh, like I always say on this channel, it's time to get out of the problem and in the solution, but my gosh, it's so hard not to just continue to, to expose the things that have happened that led us here. Um, but I will do my best to move us forward. My goal is always to raise awareness, ring the bell, and sound the alarm when something doesn't pass the smell test. So recently we did right here on this channel a poll. And you're gonna be really surprised at what those numbers expose because these are real numbers. These are your numbers. This is the public now. This is you. Um, and so the question was asked on the channel in a poll, uh, what percentage of a real estate downturn do you expect? 5%, 10%, 20%, 40%, 50% or more? What's Where are you at on this one? And my gosh, folks, whew, buckle up, strap in, hold on to your hats and glasses. This one is really quite shocking. 30 per, over 34% of people asked, and thousands of people participated in this poll. Over 34% of you said over a 50% real estate correction was expected. That's over a third. That's basically a third of, pe of people. Everybody said there's a real estate co <laughs> correction coming. The, and and uh, it, was, it was alarming to see almost 34% of people expect a 50. Uh, you know what that is, right? When real estate, if real estate drops 50%, that's a real estate crash, my friends. But here's the reality. I'm going to go ahead and give you my temperature check and heat map of, of my feeling on this. And I'm an industry guy, right? I'm a, I got my thumb on the pulse of this one. I'm working with people every single day in this incredible environment. And the only reason I'm here uh, you know, warning people is because I lived through the last bubble. And so we have to understand, uh, folks, there's a lot of people out there that have never lived through a recession or a bubble. They just don't remember it uh, well enough to really um, come do what I'm doing here today with you guys on the camera. And um, you know, there's gonna be obviously other industry people that are very biased, that need this market to continue to be euphoric in order to pay their bills. So of course, those people are going to have drank the Kool-Aid as well, and maybe not give you some of the narrative and commentary that I'm doing uh, here. For me, personally, folks, like I've always said, our rewards in life are in direct proportion to our contribution. I know I need to raise awareness and let people know you're in a real estate bubble. Bubbles historically pop, especially when they exhibit the type of behavior that the real estate bubble we're currently in is exhibiting. And then you mix in all the other you know, things that we have going on with the economy, pol politics, you name it. There's just too many red flags. People are not confident anymore. That's just the bottom line. Consumer confidence in real estate is starting to waver. And, and rightfully so. Listen, folks, like I said, love real estate. Changed my life. Enjoy, enjoy helping people so, so very much. Um, couldn't imagine doing anything else. I would always say, you know, you're, if, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. I absolutely love, love, love what I do. Um, I would do it for free, and many times I do. And so one of the things that we have to understand, folks, when 34% of people say, oh, I actually be believe there's a 50% correction coming. Well, let's take a little closer look at that, all right? So here's the reality. And I know many of you don't like to go back to the last real estate bubble because you probably didn't live through it in a way that many others did. But many people that lived through the last real estate bubble crash and correction and ultimately a recession, remember it. Apparently 34% of you remember that very well. So when you look at the last real estate bubble and what happened in that one, which is exhibiting similar behaviors as the bubble that we're in now, but this bubble actually exhibit, exhibiting more volatile behavior than the last one, you would think that this bubble would in fact provide a bigger correction than the last bubble, right? I mean, I think as a level-headed realist trying to temperature check and heat map everything we can, 
We can look to the last bubble and say, well, this bubble is worse. We had a, we were at an all time high in prices. We didn't reach the highs we reached in the last bubble. That's more volatility. The way we got here is more volatile. Market manipulation through stimulus, more volatility. You would think that this bubble would provide more blowback than the last bubble. It's logical, right? I would think so. Let me know, drop it in the comments below what your feeling is. I mean, the numbers are in. 34% of you feel that we have a 50% correction coming. Now, the million dollar question is, when? <sighs> Insanity. When will this 50%, if a 50% correction comes, friends, just so we're clear on this, and a third of you are feeling that's in fact the case, and I'm kind of in that boat with you, um, it becomes when. And personally, I, I personally believe, like I've been on record saying this more than once, by the end of this year, 2022, we will be talking about, in fact, the real estate correction. And other people will just be entering into this conversation when we've already been having it for almost a year now since, <laughs> since this artificial market exploded. And we're seeing, like you've heard me say, the catchphrases I have, I should put it on a t-shirt, but the dust will settle, there will be blowback, and we will pay the piper. That is just the realities of the world we're currently living in. And, and the reality is it's, it's just so, it's so entertaining at, at some level because historically, anytime the markets have gotten themselves in a bubble, and a bubble is when you have skyrocketing appreciation rates in a short period of time at an all time high, that constitutes a bubble. Historically, anytime the markets have done that, They've corrected at minimum. Full-blown crashes are usually the byproduct of that. And that is in fact why 34% of you believe a 50% correction is around the corner. And you know what, it could be, it could, let's just cut to the chase. I stopped it at 50% or more. It, it could be a lot more, we all know that. So, you know, in final thoughts today, folks, my job as a friend, as a content creator, somebody really loves and wants to help people and I'll continue to do that the best of my ability. Um, is, you know, just understand the clear and present dangers. Don't put your head in the stand, sand. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. We're in a massive bubble with some really serious, serious things going on in our world today. We're just coming out of a, a, a pandemic that really turned this whole world upside down. We will, we, there will be classes held on this, on this era that we're living in. There will be, there will be talks going on for ages on this one. Uh, you are in fact living in one of the most historical times ever recorded in world history. Our goal is now is how do we navigate through it, make sure that we can brace for anything that might come out of left field, which we're already seeing, and band together, hopefully be able to just survive from a survival level and then thrive and get out there because we're connected, we're realist, we're temperature checking, we're staying together, we're not scared of things because we've talked about them already. If you appreciate the content, I humbly ask you to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment below. I would love to hear from you. Social media links are in the description below of this channel where you can have more access to me if you would like, as well as other channels I've appeared on that I think you would very much enjoy. If you're watching from your television today, an easy video to click on should be appearing in your uh, screen right now if you'd like to watch more of these types of videos, as well as the subscribe button for your convenience. I appreciate your time. Please go make it count. I'll see you on the next video.